Well, dogs have long been used to literally sniff out diseases like cancer and Parkinson's. Now researchers and their canine co-workers are getting closer to helping detect COVID-19. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge has more. Miss M is practicing her sniff accuracy on what scientists call a scent wheel. It's part of a program at the Penn Vet Working Dog Center in Pennsylvania, teaching dogs to smell for disease, possibly COVID-19. So we know that all diseases seem to have a unique odor, and we know that viruses themselves actually have a unique odor. The jury is still out on whether COVID-19 has its own scent. That's what the dogs will help determine. There are currently 10 learning the process, how to survive on test samples. Next week, when the real human COVID samples arrive, the official training phase can begin. Look at this in a way that is going to be scientific, safe for the dogs and safe for the people involved. Though there's still a lot we don't know about COVID-19, Dr. Stephen Soloway says the dogs won't be at risk. There's the canine strain, there's the feline strain, there are human strains. The dog, in this case, would not be subjected to becoming ill with the human strain, nor would the human be susceptible to get ill. Once they pass the test phase, dogs would sniff a patient's biological sample, like urine, saliva, even breath, then ideally be able to determine if a person is positive or negative. The purpose is to try to get them to be able to identify where there's 10,000 people getting off lots of airplanes and these dogs kind of stationed around and rather than sniffing for only bombs they're sniffing for people that are carriers the dogs have been training for just a few weeks now so it's still early if the research works out the earliest canine screenings of people could start as soon as this summer natalie dedridge cbs 2 news